Okay, this is an experiment on Hooke's law that relate extension of a spring and force applied. Okay, for tabulation of data, you need to record initial length of the spring LO equals to 20.5 cm. Length of spring with load L, extension of spring X equals to L minus LO. And force supply, we can calculate by using formula MG. G equals to 9.81 meter second for negative 2. Okay, for table of data, the first column we can label as mass M unit is gram and then force f unit is newton length of spring l o unit centimeter extension of ring x unit centimeter so there must be label and unit eh, for the table then you can comp uh, fill in all the information or the data recorded before the mass okay the force you can calculate by using the formula f equals to mg and then length of spring that you measured record in one decimal place because we are using ruler Extension of spring can be calculated eh, using the formula given x equals to L minus LO. You can calculate one by one. For example, uh, 26.5 minus 20.5, you get 6 cm. 28.5 minus 20.5, you get 6 cm. 30.5 minus 20.5, you get 10 cm. Okay, And then based on the table, you can plot a graph. Okay, look at the title of the graph, F against X. So, Y axis is F, label and unit. X axis is X, label and unit. Set the even and uniform scale for both axes. And then, you can transfer all points eh, correctly on the graph paper. Make sure you use, uh, to, uh, you use scale that produce larger graph. Okay, now draw best fit line. Okay, so this is the graph for f against x. Based on the graph, you must be able to state the relationship between f and x. Okay, now let's look at discussion. Precaution needed to be taken so that the spring is not overextended. Ensure the spring returns to its original length every time experiment repeated for different mass of load. So you always measure every time you want to add more load, you measure the length so that it returns to its original uh, length. Another precaution is eye level perpendicular to the scale of meter rule to prevent parallax error. The conclusion, do the points plotted in the graph form a perfect straight line? Yes, the line of graph is a straight line that passes through the origin and all the points are on the line. Thus, the force supply is directly proportional to extension of the spring. Hypothesis is accepted.